to show you a quick run through of how you would use Adobe Bridge. So Adobe Bridge is primarily used for sorting and storing photos. So this is really the best if you have a ton of photos. I don't have that many images on this PC, but I'm going to show you how I would use it. So first you want to go to the area where you find your photos. Usually this is the default screen for Adobe Bridge where you start off. So I'm going to click here in pictures. One thing to mention is that you really want to have all of your pictures stored in one umbrella folder. That will really make it easier when you're going back and searching for images later. I'm going to show you both ways to do that. So right here I have a picture. These are just my kids sitting here with some pumpkins. I'm going to label this photo. I'm going to give it a keyword. So keywords is really how you can sort your photos easily later. In the right side of the screen, you'll see different keywords. These are the default keywords that come with the computer. You can add more by right clicking and clicking new keyword, or you can rename what's already here by right clicking and clicking rename. So this one right here, I have labeled L1. I'm going to assign this pumpkin picture, the L word, L1 keyword, just by checking the box. And I'm also just for fun going to give it a birthday keyword tag as well. Now, to see more photos, because again, I don't have that many stored on this PC, I'm going to go under my camera roll. And these are just random different still shots from the YouTube videos. So I'm going to select one of them and I will give that one some a keyword of L1, give a few of these different keywords of L1, just so I can show you what that will look like. So I think I've selected three. You can see on here, I've got three, four L1, three on this screen and then one on the other screen. And then some other things that I've randomly assigned in the past. So on the left side, if you're not seeing this, it's under filter. So it usually is under collections for default. If you click over filter, you can see the drop down for keywords. Uh, another thing is if you're on this screen, you won't see that keyword drop down. You have to actually be on a photo screen in order to see the keyword. And it will show you how many keywords are assigned to the screen that you're actually on. So now if I want to see everything that has the L1 tag, I'm going to check that box and it will show me everything with that tag. As I mentioned, um, it really helps to have everything you want to find in one common folder. Even if you list, you label that folder like 2022 and all the photos in 2022 are in that picture, in that folder, it will really help you to find pictures later. Um, so anyways, I'm going to click camera roll and then I'll show you L1 in this folder showing you all of the images that are in that. So that's an easy way to assign keywords to your photos and really help you to store and sort them easily rather than just having one long list of all of your photos piled in. So I hope that was helpful.